Incidents in confined spaces are even today the cause for many fatal accidents and injuries. Confined spaces injuries are considered to be some of the most serious incidents in the industry. For this reason, there is a great attention given to safe confined space entry. Incident investigations reveal that workers often do not recognize or anticipate the unforeseen hazards. Confined space is an area with limited area for entry or exit, large enough to enter at least partially, and they are not designed for continuous human occupancy. It has inadequate natural ventilation and may contain potential toxic and or hazardous atmospheres. Some confined spaces are easy to identify, like tanks and reaction vessels, while some other spaces are less obvious but dangerous. Some other examples of confined spaces include pits, tunnels, ducting, pipes, wells, containers and underground sewers. The key aspects of atmosphere to be considered in confined space entry are low or high oxygen levels, flammable or toxic atmospheres and the ingress of liquids or free-flowing powders. Some other physical hazards include slippery floors, electrical, physical obstacles, excessive heat and noise, engulfment, falling from height, being hit by falling object, etc. Let us look at some recent incidents involving confined space entry. In 2011, men cleaning a blood storage tank at a biotechnology plant were overcome by toxic fumes killing one and leaving the others in critical condition. Firefighters called to Baxter International Plant found a man lying near a large cylindrical tank. He wasn't breathing and had no pulse. Two other men were pulled unconscious from the four-foot-tall, five-foot-wide tank. They apparently climbed in through a two-foot diameter opening in the top. All three men were taken to hospitals in critical condition and one later died. The immediate cause was identified as entering an oxygen deficient vessel without checking the atmosphere and without any protective equipment. Baxter Bioscience in Los Angeles was eventually posed with a penalty for 400,000 US dollars. Critical aspects which were missing in this case was that confined spaces were not identified nor tagged. Neither were detailed descriptions given about the type of danger or air composition to the workers. Potential hazards of working in confined spaces. To take precautions, it is important to understand the potential hazards of entering and working in confined spaces. Some of them are issues like limited area for access and egress or danger of falling from a height or toxic atmospheres. Therefore, before entering such a space, the potential risks have to be identified and mitigated. Requirements for working safely in confined space. There are seven primary activities which needs to be initiated in any unit or plant which requires work in confined spaces. The first is that all locations which fall under the definition of a confined space should be identified and tagged. For each of these locations, safe work procedures or job safety analysis must be defined and documented depending upon the conditions and nature of work to be performed in the confined space. When the need arises to enter confined spaces, a series of safety measures are required which includes obtaining appropriate permits preparation for safe entry, securing the area, isolating the area and ensuring that employees involved are adequately trained. It is also essential that an adequate rescue plan is in place along with an audit for compliance. Permits Confined space entry permit is a detailed document that carefully controls the entry of personnel into confined spaces. Permit includes detailed information about location of work, description of work, scope of work, names of entrants and attendants, permit validity period, 
gas test results with gas tester name and signature, rescue procedures, approval by issuer, and other such information. Apart from the permit to enter, depending upon the nature of the work that has to be done, the appropriate permits have to be taken, for example, hot works or cold work permits. The permit has to be obtained from the owner of the plant. The permit format is pre-designed and customized to each plant's operation. Different permits are available depending upon the nature of the work and are designed by the safety management system. These can also be adopted from OSHA standard, for example. Planning for confined space entry Now let us look at some of the stages mentioned earlier in more detail. Since no two confined spaces are identical typically, they come with their own hazards. These have to be identified and appropriate control measures have to be defined and documented during the job safety analysis stage. So, two key tasks at this stage is to identify the hazards and conduct risk assessment in the confined space. Eliminate or control the hazards in the confined space. 